Hi, Mr. Sapone here, and today we're going to look at a density question. And the main purpose of this screencast is to answer the question of what happens to the density of an object if it were cut in half? So let's start with our question. If I have a wooden block that has a mass of 20 grams and a volume of 26 centimeters cubed, what is its density? What happens to the density of the block of wood if you cut it in half? So the first thing we want to do is calculate the density of this wooden block. And density equals mass divided by volume. The mass of the wooden block is 20 grams. And the volume of the wooden block is 26 centimeters cubed. So we put 20 in the calculator, divide it by 26, this is going to equal roughly 0. 77 grams per centimeter cubed. So now what happens to the density of this object if you were to cut that block in half? And a lot of times students tell me, well, the density would cut in half, and they would kind of divide this number by two to get the density of it. And that's going to be incorrect, as we're going to see. So let's kind of take this wooden block here that has a density of 0 0.77 grams per centimeter cubed, and let's cut it in half. So right here we see we have the wood block in question. It has a mass of 20 grams, a volume of 26 centimeters cubed, and that comes out to a density of 0 0.77 grams per centimeter cubed. We just calculated that. Mass divided by volume is density. So what happens now? We cut this wood block in half. We kind of slice this right down the middle. That's not really the middle, but we slice it down the middle, and now we have two pieces. So what is the mass of this block right here? Well, the mass of this block, the whole thing, this whole thing is 20 grams. You cut it completely in half, what should the mass of this be? Well, it should be 10 grams. It's only going to have it's going to have half the mass now. This one also should be 10 grams. You're cutting it directly in half. And I tell my students, if you had a, if you were at the gym and you had a 20-pound metal plate and you cut that plate directly in half, each half should weigh 10 pounds. So mass is 20 for the whole thing. If you were to cut it in half, mass should be 10 for each. And the volume, the volume is how much physical space this thing takes up, how much space it takes up. And that is 26 centimeters cubed. If you were to cut it in half, then each of these is now taking up half of that amount. So half of 26, the volume of each one of these should be 13 centimeters cubed because they each take up half the space of this whole block. And if we put that in, we see that the mass of this block is 10 grams. The volume of this block is 13 centimeters cubed. And it's the same thing for this one over here. So now what happens when you divide the mass by the volume? Because density equals m over v. Put m over v in your calculator. Put 10 and divide it by 0 or divide it by 13 and I guarantee you, you will get this number again which is going to tell me that the density did not change when we cut this object in half. Again dividing mass by volume leaves us with the same result. Both of these wood blocks are going to have the same density this is 0 0.77, this one the same thing as this whole one. And just to drive the point home a little bit further, what happens if I were to cut one of the small blocks in half again? So what if I took this block right here and I cut it in half into two separate blocks? I'm going to make this into two separate blocks. What's the density? What will the density of each of these separate blocks be? So we do this here. We have this one big block being severed in half, and it's forming these two little blocks. So what is the mass of this block? What will the mass of this block be? Well, the mass of this whole block is 10 grams. And if you cut it directly in half, then each half should have a mass of 5 
grams. And this block here took up has a volume. It took up a physical space of 13 centimeters cubed. If you cut that in half, it's going to take up half the space. And half of 13 is going to be 6.5 centimeters cubed. If you remember, density is mass divided by volume. It's the formula for density. V equals m over v. 5 grams divided by 6.5. When you put that in your calculator, if you don't believe me, please put it in. It's going to come out to be this number again. So the density of the wood block is not changing regardless of how many times we cut it in half or how small we make the pieces. Density is staying the same. So what we see here is that density does not depend on the amount of the substance you have. Regardless of whether you have a small piece of gold or a giant truck full of it, the density of all of that gold is going to be 19.3 grams per centimeters cubed. Likewise, the density of one drop of water will be the same as the density of a swimming pool full of water. That was going to be one gram per centimeter cubed. And likewise, we have some wood blocks down here of different dimensions. They're different size blocks. If these are all made of the same exact wood, each one of them will have the same density. Because even though the mass is changing, the volume is going to change in proportion. They're always going to change in that same ratio. Density of the mass and the volume are going to change together so that the density value always stays the same. So density is independent of the amount of a substance you have. Hopefully that helps you. This is Mr. Zappone.